Hello, um, this is going to be a quick video about uh, how to um, prepare MDF for painting. So specifically sanding um, and then uh, primer and undercoat and then sanding again. So it's totally ready for painting with whatever your choice of paint is. Um, so this is just a, a cut piece of uh, MDF for the purposes of this video. Um, so the, the edges of this have been rounded over with a router. Um, so this has had nothing else done to it. I'm go at the end of the video I'm going to get, um, I've got a little magnifying glass which I can put in front of the video camera um, and I'm going to show you the differences between all these so you'll understand what's going on. Um, so the first thing to do with this edge is to sand it. Um, this is 240 grit sandpaper and literally like this. And this is on a rounded edge or a cut edge. You never need to sand um, a, a, a face unless it's you know had some damage or got something dripped on it or something though those would be absolutely fine to just put the uh, put the primer straight on so we sand like this until it looks a bit like this side which I did earlier and it still feels slightly furry. You're never going to get it completely smooth before it's been treated just because of the nature of MDF. Um, so that's good enough. And then uh, time to put the primer and undercoat on. Um, I want to recommend this, not because I'm being paid to, just because um, I think it's uh, like magic on MDF on cut edges and routed edges. Um, Leyland Trade uh, all-in-one acrylic primer and undercoat um, and it's about 15 quid for a pot like this two and a half litres at B&Q or Screwfix um, and for the price it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I've tried much more expensive things from Dulux and various other companies and to be honest this does a better job. Um, I've only ever needed to do one coat you never need to go back and do two. So uh, when it comes to painting, faces I would paint with a foam roller um, and to be honest probably edges like this as well, although I am just going to do this one with the brush just because I don't want to get a roller dirty just for this. So nice and generous because it smooths out really easily. And then obviously just make sure that all the surfaces are covered. paying attention to cut and routed edges and then I would go on the face here with a with a roller. It doesn't matter if it's a bit streaky because you are going to sand it afterwards uh, and it, it sands very easily to a nice smooth finish. So that's all you need to do and then put it somewhere to dry. I'll just balance that there. Put the lid back on my primer. And then here I've got a piece which has dried and hasn't been sanded yet. Um, I don't know if you can feel that, but it, it's pretty rough because it makes all the all the fibres in the wood in the uh, MDF stand up. So you sand this just the same way as we did before we primed. Obviously this is on the on the cut and routed edge, I would just use a, use a piece of sandpaper on my fingers. So it's got a sort of chalky feel to it, this paint, when it dries and it makes it really easy to sand. And that now feels almost glassy smooth. So that's what you do on the cut edges and then I've got, uh, I assume that's a 240, yeah that's a 240 grit and just like this on the faces. And just feel and you'll, you'll know if you've missed any bits because it feels completely different after it sounded, that is smooth. And that's it. So this piece, when it's been sanded all over, that's then ready for painting in whatever gloss or eggshell or anything else you want to put on it. 
and that's a, a single coat of the Leyland Trade um, primer and undercoat, which I think is amazing. Um, so what I'm going to do now is to show you uh, this piece is fully sanded. That piece has not been sanded. I'll just put that upside down so you can see. So I'm now going to get my magnifying glass, pick up the camera and try and show you what's going on here. Okay, here we go. So this is the piece that has just been cut on the table saw and routed. So you're looking at the, the edge of it, the face edge. And then that's the, that's the routed part. So you can see it's pretty furry, pretty knobbly. And then, oh, in fact, sorry, that last bit I showed you, that has actually been sanded the first time. So, you know, I said, you can't get it totally smooth until it's been treated. That's what it looks like even after it's been sanded. So don't waste too much time trying to get it really smooth because you won't be able to. Um, so this one, sorry, there we are. This one has been painted with the primer undercoat and has dried. And you can see that looks really knobbly. Better. And then this one has been sanded after the paint has dried. So you can see the difference. This one looks nice and smooth. Oh, sorry, the camera's just gone sideways. This one looks nice and smooth, and that's the finish you want to get on it before you paint. So there we go, that's it. Um, I hope that's of some use. Uh, comment below with any questions if there's anything else you want to know and Leyland Trade primer and undercoat absolutely brilliant thanks for watching